good morning guys uh we're going fishing again today and uh it's typical fashion we're waiting on mr mason as always we've got the phoenix today and we're meeting my grandpa ricky and rb and we're gonna go crappie fishing so we'll be back with you when we hit the water Will work actually no I'll get those actually here no I'm not gonna go in that's right now like string that's all we need get it uh then when they actually I just a little tiny drop shot, man. Have you got a split shot? You guys are ever around uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and we need anything, uh, stop over here at Edgemore's. They usually have everything you need um, for crappie, bass, stripe, anything you ever need. So uh, make sure to check them out. But uh, we're going to hit the water, meet my granddad, Ricky, and RB, and get everybody rigged up and hopefully put a beating on crappie again today. So this will be episode number two and we're going to try to make this one better than the last so y'all stay with us we're going to do a lot more point of view videos so i think y'all like this one so make sure you like subscribe and we'll see you when we hit the water yeah. Poor fella, it's way too cold for that man um you already got the front undone okay there you okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown before we hit the water and start fishing of what we're gonna be throwing today so we're gonna be throwing a lime green with an eighth ounce head just in case i mean we got a little water clarity today i'm throwing the blue shimmer shad again that i caught them on the other day always got a reliable uh monkey milk then we got a, a purple monkey And now we got an unspoiled. Sometimes when you're trying to video, uh, you forget to do some certain things, like unhook the front of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you said you unhooked it. No, I said, did you unhook it? I thought I did. But anyways, these are just a few things that we're going to be throwing today. Um, stuff we're doing is just our preference. Obviously, there's many different ways to do it, but we'll show you the ways we rig our live bait that we've got and everything. So just to help out people that are new and stuff.
I don't really know how to put this thing on. <laughs> This is gonna be a live bait rig, just split shot, little hook. I'm gonna put a minner on there here in a second. We're gonna get Papa and Ricky and RB rigged up. Mason's already rigged up, and we're pulling up to the juice hole, so it's fixing to go down. Let's take it right through both nostrils. like that. Watch ya, Rick. Watch my bobber. There you mm -hmm. How deep y'all say there was? About 10? Mate, 10. Mm -hmm. Hey, what? The manor is where it is at today. We're smacking them again. One of the floats that I bought <laughs> doesn't float. So I added two floats. Your manor, your bobber's on the outside, aren't I see it. He's good at now. Look at uh -oh. it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a dang bagging. If you got a hook lock the side of the end, don't let him jump off. He's going to get off. He's got him. We're going to get that net out. <laughs> I think that's big, is it? Boy. God, you hook. That's a little big one. Look there. Mike, what are you going to tie one on? Save that man. I'd rather just catch him on a bobby. there and jangle it above his head that time. Pulled that bobber. Who's bobber is that? One of those. What kind of cast was that? Right under that bobber float where they're at. That's a big white. He's got another begging.
got one. Got him a strap. He got you on camera. Oh, you be on Blue Gabe here. Yeah, tell him hi. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. For sure. I can see that. Why is he so? He's about to catch one. No, I got a line right in somewhere. What are you doing? I got a line right down there in my rod. Is it big or something? No, my line's right there in my rug. That's what you want to see after a day of fishing. So Mayor Mason have been hitting these uh, channel swing banks that have points and brush piles and stumps on them. And uh, he actually just caught another one. I was changing out the camera batteries, but we're at 26. We need four more for a limit. We gotta get four more and we got about an hour and a half, two hours before dark. It's been a lot slower today than obviously it was the other time, but we're making do with what we got, so we're gonna keep grinding and try to get two more, or four more, my bad. Mighty. The guy I'm working for. The guy I'm working for? Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Well, listen, y'all run them out. Just a minute. Let me know. All right. Okay, buddy. We're back to you later. All right, sorry. All right, bye. I think this is a nice one. Yep. Do you have a problem? monkey today and what we're doing is we're targeting brush piles and you have to hang your bait about a foot over top of these fish and actually let them come up and get it if it goes below them they will not bite it period and if if you don't present it right i mean presentation is everything to catch these fish and if you're i mean these lethargic cold winter time fish you can't get them to do nothing unless you put it right in their face so that's how we're having to catch them and uh, we just caught 27, so we got three more now to a limit. What about that, Smiley? Feels like a good one. <laughs> that was neat. He came all the way off the bottom and came up and got it. That was pretty decent. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Do you need the net? Why don't you use the net? Sure? No net? Oh, Lord. Boat flips only. Nice and cold. <laughs> well, 
boat. That's going to end our day of crappie fishing. We, we don't know how many we exactly have. We don't have over our limit. We know, but I think we have 28. So we're going to count them when we get back up to the ramp to make sure. Lifetime sportsman, man. That's the way to go. <laughs> I'm jealous. I bet you might be that sportsman every year. You guys got a cooler with you, like in your truck? Yeah, you want to one? All right. It's a, do you know if the smallmouth limit's for sure changing on north? Yeah, it is. All right. Yep. Here, let's do it this way. Yeah, you guys wore them out today, man. We had a good day. That's so Mason actually caught a few more fish today, so I'm proud of him. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to load the boat up and go home. So uh, we will see y'all on the next one.